A tool aimed at helping municipal officials to improve service delivery has been launched. It's called the Municipal Innovation Maturity Index. It assesses how municipalities respond uh, to science, technology and innovation and will indicate where improvements have been made. The science officer at the University of Wazulu Natal, Dr. Andrew Okem, joins me now to give us more details on this. Dr. Okem, good evening and thank you for joining us on In Focus. Um, good evening. Uh, thanks for having me on, on your show. Tell and, us about uh, good evening to your viewers. Tell us about this technology. How does it come about, and what are the objectives uh, behind uh, this uh, particular uh, innovation? Um, many thanks. Um, perhaps it's important to uh, take your viewers through the politic policy context um, in which uh, the Municipal Innovation Maturity Index was developed. Um, it is in the context of uh, various policy instruments, such as um, the White Paper on Science, Technology and Innovation, um, the White Paper on Local Government, um, the National Development Plan, obviously, uh, the Municipal System Act. And all these uh, policy instruments, their focus is about um, the creation of an enabling environment that will enable the adoption of technologies, scaling up technologies, scaling up innovations, and helping to improve the quality of basic services. So it's about the enabling environment that is created for the adoption of uh, innovation. And ultimately, the goal is to improve um, services to the general public. So this uh, tool, the Municipal Innovation Maturity, Maturity Index, uh, which we call MIMI for short, um, is an initiative of the Department of Science and Innovation. And the purpose is to uh, promote a process of self-reflection and shared learning on in innovation practices among municipal officials. Uh, the instrument assesses the innovation maturity levels of municipal officials and their individual capabilities, you know, to innovate and improve for service delivery. Yeah. It is about enhancing the innovation capacities of municipalities, stimulating them to learn about innovation, sharing experiences and learning from other municipalities in terms of what they are doing uh, to improve uh, their business processes and how they can learn from each other to ultimately uh, uh, leads to improved service delivery. And yeah. um, I must add that the first um, uh, uh, phase of this project was started in 2016 when the, the Human Sciences Research Council was commissioned by the Department of Science and Innovation. And since then, there has been ongoing improvement and refinement to the tool. Um, this current phase of the project um, is being implemented by a consortium comprising the University of KwaZulu-Natal, where I, I am based, at the Human Sciences Research Council, and the South African Local Government Association. Right, before we get to the first phase, so let me see, see if I understand what you're saying. So the Department of Government, the Department of Science and Technology says, we're going to come up with a tool to help municipalities uh, assess whether they are using innovation and technology uh, in, in service delivery. And if they are, to what extent are, are they able to, to, to use this innovation and technology? And how, how does that actually work? I mean, are there technologies currently at, at local government that have been introduced? And, uh, and so how do you then measure uh, their implementation and whether they are being effectively used? Indeed, um, that's the, the, the entire objective of uh, this uh, project. And it, it is not just about measuring or assessing whether uh, innovation is being um, deployed or implemented in municipalities. It is also about creating a, uh, an opportunity where municipalities can learn, um, as I mentioned previously, about um, innovation processes that are in place. And the, the, the tool, um, I must add, uh, assesses the, the maturity levels of municipalities um, we divide the maturity level of municipalities into six categories. So a municipality could be at maturity level one, maturity level two, up to maturity level level, level six. And what the tool does is to assess uh, various components of um, the, the maturity level of municipalities. And we look at this in terms of enablers of innovation at uh, municipal levels. What are the factors that enable innovation we look at another aspect that looks at uh, manager support for innovation, for example, and the third aspect uh, looks at um, the, um, the in individual innovation behavior of, uh, of, of municipal officials. And then lastly, we look at um, the environment as a whole within the municipalities. Does it enable um, innovation? And when we put all these together into a composite, we are able to tell um, the, the level at which a municipality is. 
And based on what we get from the instrument, we are able to also provide uh, recommendations to municipalities in terms of the areas that they need to improve in order to move to the next level if their, their level of maturity is not um, at, at the optimum. And I must emphasize that it is about a process of uh, self-reflection, a process of self-learning and understanding what is happening internally within the, the municipality. And in the process of uh, testing this uh, assess, uh, this tool, um, we came up with um, a number of very interesting ideas, interesting innovation uh, that are being implemented by, by, by municipalities. And as I said, the important aspect of, uh, of this instrument is not just about assessing or measuring uh, innovation maturity levels, but how do we create a platform uh, for shared learning among municipalities? So I, I don't know if you, you, you've touched on, on this in, in as far as the first phase that was launched in 2016, but for example, uh, uh, forward planning, right? One of the issues discovered by the Auditor General is that municipalities are unable, for example, to budget for the priorities that they have for that financial year. Some they under uh, a, a budget, others they uh, put a budget but they underperform, right? Would a tool of this nature be able to be integrated into those municipalities to assist them in a, in a particular way? Um, it, it will be able to, 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 to support the municipalities to, to a large extent. But as I mentioned earlier, one aspect, it's, um, it's not just about having the tool. One dimension of the tool, as I said, is about, you know, are there enabling environment to support the uptake of this kind of initiative? Uh, certainly, it's able to assess uh, the capacities of um, municipal officials, for example, in terms of how do you do, do you have the capacity to do uh, proper accounting and proper budgeting? Uh, do you have the funds? Do you have the human resources? Uh, what are the challenges you face and how can you um, address those challenges in order to be able to you know, address the, the, the issues that you have in order to improve uh, your performance. And what we've learned um, from, from this process, one of the lessons is that there are various barriers uh, to, um, uh, to the uptake of uh, the idea of innovation or to address the challenges that, the, that, that you're talking about just now. So, for example, the, the, there are issues about uh, the, the policy context that uh, it does not support um, the, the kind of um, innovation that municipal officials would want to introduce to address issues that you just mentioned, the issue of um, having the capacity to budget, or for example, issue of management support. You know, do managers, uh, managers within municipalities, do they have support for, 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 for innovation? And also, you, we should also understand that um, innovation, as I said, is a process of learning, it's a process of making mistakes and being able to uh, learn from that process and improving your business processes. So is there appetite for that? So those are the, the kinds of issues that we're picking up uh, in the process of trying to uh, test um, this instrument. Yeah. Dr. Kem, I mean, when I read the write-up on this, it says it is a multi-million rand IT tool. Now, South Africans, when they hear multi-million rand of taxpayers' money being used to develop a tool, they will want to know Will I get value for money here? How do we measure right, the success of this tool in, 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 in implementation in municipalities? Well, in terms of the measurement of the success of the tool, um, of course, uh, the, the extent to which um, the buying of municipal officials uh, come in and the extent to which it helps them to uptake uh, innovation and also being able to improve their business processes. And the ultimate goal is about encouraging them to improve the quality of services they render to, to, municipal, uh, to, to the general public. We are all aware of the challenges that the public face in terms of accessing services from the municipalities. We are also aware of the brilliant um, ideas and the brilliant um, um, effort being uh, put forward by municipal officials to deliver on, on, on their mandate. So the success of uh, this uh, uh, project will be based on the extent to which it helps municipalities to self-reflect, self-learn, and being able to improve ultimately uh, the quality of services that they render to the citizens of this country. Dr. Andrew Okem, appreciate your time, a science officer at the University of Guazulu-Natal, telling us tonight about uh, the Municipal Innovation Maturity Index. Uh, stay with